They say it's hard to keep a good thing down and that is most surely true of the Evergreen National Ploughing Championships. As we know, the event was cancelled last year and the public event isn't going ahead this year either, but the actual ploughing match is taking place. So we've come down here to Rathaneska in County Leash for the annual 90th National Ploughing Championships. Now it might be taking place behind closed doors or should that be gates in this case, but over the coming days, no furrow will be left unploughed as competitors from all across Ireland and take to the fields. Anyone familiar with the ploughing, be it as a competitor, exhibitor or visitor, will know Anna May and Anna Marie McHugh. And they have weathered many a storm over the years, literally, but they are back this year undaunted with the 90th National Ploughing Championships. So Anna May and Anna Marie, it's wonderful to see you both ploughing 2021 going ahead and great excitement in the air this morning. Absolutely wonderful excitement to see competitors from all over Ireland uh, competing. We would have a total of about 112 competitors taking part today in all different classes and uh, we're so excited about it but not alone are we excited the competitors they're nearly about to hug each other if they could and uh, they're they haven't met for over two years now so really it's wonderful for the national ploughing it's absolutely wonderful for ploughing and particularly for the competitors and i remember when the three of us met this time last year we sat in an empty field and it felt so strange. You must be delighted with the progress that's been made. Oh, absolutely, Nuli. You know, we're so disappointed last year. We had hoped that even though the exhibition was cancelled, that we could have the ploughing. But then, you know, things got bad again and some of the counties were locked down and we just couldn't go ahead without having the full complement. So we're delighted this year. Some people had to pull out. Unfortunately, we, we've lost a few competitors along the way, but I think overall we'll have well over 300 competing over the three days. And as I may said, the excitement is massive. And, you know, it's particularly important. We're here in Ratneska where the event will be next year and where we should have had the whole event. And I suppose in a way, the fact that this is our 90th anniversary and we're right back to what it would have been 90 years ago, just ploughing. And because you've seen it all, is there anything in particular that you're looking forward to seeing now over the next few days? Well, we're looking forward to seeing good competition and the camaraderie is wonderful, as I said. And of course, it's our 90th year and it's no harm to say that we still have horse ploughing over the three days. And uh, so many people would have loved to have been here to join with us. And we get, all over the country, we're getting good wishes, but uh, what we're, we're hoping that when the winners are announced on each evening and the presentation of trophies at six o'clock each evening, that the winners will be happy and the losers will take their beating. But there's, there's a great camaraderie between the ploughing people. And this year should have been the world, but for obvious reasons, that couldn't go ahead. Would you be hopeful that maybe in 2023, the world Climbing championships could take place here in Ireland again. Well, at this stage, Nola, fingers, toes and everything are, are crossed because um, we've made a, an application for a special dispensation that we could get the world in 23. It's going to Russia next year and we really should be back to the end of the list, which would be 2037. But um, we've, we've asked that, that we could get it. So um, all the world board will have an online meeting now, 32 or three countries at the end of September and the decision will be made then. Ratneska, thankfully, the, the local farms have said, yes, we'll give you the land for the extra year. So that's massive to, to have that approval. And it's just really now about the World Association. And you had mentioned earlier that that beautiful green field behind us, that, that should be where... The trade stands. Absolutely, yeah. absolutely. But look, you know, people say we're very disappointed. Disappointed for the exhibitors and we're, we're doing a lot of engagement with them this week online just to try and keep the names of the companies alive in people's minds and maybe drive some business their direction. But also, look, I think, you know, we'll appreciate it even, the be even more when we, when we get back to the event as what it should be. And was it harder to plan for this year then 
In Wales. In Wales, in Wales, absolutely, because we had to write out to all the competitors, of course, and the county ploughing so secretaries, and they had to get all their, their uh, tests done and everything else, and within 48 hours they had to have, vaccine, have the vaccine, have the vaccines or have PCR tests, yeah. do their online registration, because, you know, we had to plan, if, if the country had opened up earlier, we probably could have had some general public, but it's only a couple of weeks, and, and to do it right, we, we just couldn't at that point. So, obviously very disappointed for the general public, because they're, they're on, on social media too, saying, can we not go or just a few of us go on this kind of thing so it's difficult so we're hoping to have lots of footage over the three days that people can still support their competitors from the, their counties and, and everything crossed for next Absolutely. year the crowds would be back no like, i would just want to say the goodwill messages that we would get even to mass bouquets uh you know for this week and people longing to come but can't when there's no exhibition and no pony jumping or anything like that yeah. you know it's just plowing but look we look forward to better days and we're there fighting the cause and Godspeed the plough. Yeah, and no, and no better women in the country to be fighting the cause. In a normal year, some 300,000 people converge on the annual ploughing event. And while it is taking place behind closed doors this year, it's not just about the ploughing. The Certified Angus Beef Schools competition is run by the NPA with partners ABP Ireland and Keepak Group. Now the students are challenged to rear five Irish Angus calves over 18 months while completing a research project, educating them about the care and attention needed to produce quality beef. The overall winners also receive a bursary towards further education. Our winners are from St Aloysius College in Karen Suhill in County Cork. And I'll start with you, Kelsey, if you don't mind. Can you tell us a little bit about the theme of your project? So the theme of our project was communicating between the producer and the consumer. So when me and the girls found out that we were the one the five finalists, we wanted to do something for our promotion that was kind of out there and that no one had done before. So we wanted something that like both young people and old people would be able to use. And like obviously everyone can see like technology is such a huge part in all our lives today. So we created an app on the MIT App Inventor and we had an uh, app creating module in TY. So on our app you could feed your cow, um, wash your cow and give your cow water and whenever you did anything with your cow daily facts would come up about certified Irish Angus beef. And have any of you any connection to farming? Did you grow up on a farm? None of us. So this was all new. So where did you rear the calves then? So there was um, a farmer up in Watergrass Hill called Jim Royal and he was willing to take our calves and rear them for the 18 months and he was quite close to all of us like he was only 20 minutes drive off the road so we could visit his like he was so welcoming and caring like he he was around whenever we needed any help so um, we could literally rock up to his house any day of the week and he'd be able to cater for us so mostly we visited the calves like monthly we weighed them dosed them fed them and because none of us had like any farming experience it was great to get like hands on with our cattle and like experience farming life so it was really great and we really appreciate all the help Jim did to help us with and wearing our cows. What was the biggest surprise you would have learned about the whole process? Um, for me definitely it was when we got to see inside ABP and Keepak the actual slaughtering process because we're from a not farming background like we wouldn't have known this at all like, and we proper got to go through the whole thing and we got a guided tour and it was actually really interesting and I think it's something that a lot more people should see because it really made me open my eyes and see the hard work that farmers do and the care and how much dignity the animals are really treated with. Thanks Emily and Leah would you have any advice for other schools thinking about taking part? I'd 100% take part in the competition anyway because you learn so much from it. It's like once in a, once in a lifetime opportunity and um, the amount of contacts you get from it as well. Like it's unbelievable. Like today we kind of feel kind of famous. Yeah. It's like, oh my God, that's the girls. And we're like, oh yeah, we remember you from blah, blah. So I feel like you learn so much and it's an, like, 
it's better than sitting in a classroom. You learn like way more than out here in the field than you do in the classroom. And Helen, you were mentioning about the farmer being so good to you, but did COVID cause any problems when the schools were closed because you couldn't? Yeah, we were all remote then, so we couldn't visit our cows. So it was so weird because the last time we visited them, they were so small and tiny. And then after COVID, it was summer of 2020, we went up and visited them and they were all used. They were out in grass. Yeah. The last time we saw them was I think in March 2020, yeah, yeah, March 2020. The and then we saw them again in the summer and they were out in the grass and they were huge. It was scary, like they were <laughs> two different uh, yeah, we animals all together. <laughs> I'm now joined with some students from St. Louis High School in Rathmines in Dublin and they're just about to start their 18 month project. So here we have Neve, Maya and Ella. So I might start with you Neve. I mean Rathmines isn't really known for farming. So how did you become so interested in this project? Um, so a part of our skill subject home ec, we weren't allowed to cook in TY due to Covid and not being able to use the kitchen. So our teacher, Miss McArdle, thought it would be a great idea to enter us into the competition for something new for us to do that we've never done before because we have no agricultural background. So we entered into the competition initially not having really any hope in ourselves of getting this far. And as the further we got into the competition, the more and more interested we got and we ended up being one of the six finalists. So Maya, I mean, where, where are the calves reared? Because you don't have a farm. No, so Charles um, Smith has kindly taken our calves and we're going to um, visit them because we don't even have a back garden, so like he ha we had no choice. Maya, what are you most looking forward to as part of the whole experience? Uh, we're mainly looking forward to creating a bond with our calves and we're supposed to be going on an abroad trip, so we're looking forward to that as well. And for the leaving cert, we're thinking of bringing in agricultural science as a new subject to study for, so we're looking forward to that as well. So listen, the very best of luck with the project. I'm sure you'll go on to great things. So best of luck. Thank you. Thank you. Barry O'Sullivan is a ploughing competition judge with over 20 years judging experience. But while hundreds and thousands of people visit the ploughing every year, how many of us really know what's actually involved in the art of ploughing and how the eventual winners are chosen? So as a judge, Barry, you're no stranger to the fields of the National Ploughing Championships. What are you looking out for? In, uh, basically in a plot of ploughing is that all the furrows are straight, even, smooth. You know, they just catch your eye when you're walking along. That's number one. And you have to award points. When we're judging then, you're awarding points for different aspects. Like the start is judged, they have to have uniformity, straightness and weed control is very important that there's no trash or stubble showing up from the previous crop. And as they move out they're banked in after 15 or 16 sods, you come into general work, which is the same thing, straightness, weed control, uniformity, and what we call for pack and flesh, that it's a good solid job, that when machinery go in to till it, they stay up on top of it, they won't be sinking. And it's, it's going to make a nice seabed afterwards. So as somebody who loves ploughing, your son James has inherited that. So you have helped coach him. Yeah. So you're giving him all the top tips. Most of them. <laughs> you have to keep some secrets. So if somebody is starting out now, what would you tell them to do? How to develop their skill? Um, well, I think the NPA at the moment, are run, they're running a novice programme, which is working very well with the last few years. And it's bringing young lads in. What it is that if there's some new person in my area that wants to go, we give him the loan of our trot and plough for the day, we coach him. And if he qualifies, he comes to the Earl Ireland, he ploughs the class here, and hopefully he'll stay at it. And he could be here, or she could be here, competing, he could be here. winning all around them. No boundaries. So it's a, it's a little different this year because it, it really is just the ploughing match that is taking That's place. Right. Does it, does it feel very different to you? It's more relaxed. It's definitely more relaxed here. You know, it's 
brilliant to get back to see all our friends, as I say. Because of ploughing, I know people from Donegal down to West Cork. And it's all because of ploughing and just to meet them all here today again after being there for so long. It's just lovely to get out and talk to people and see what's happening. Well, I better let you get back to your job. I know you have busy work judging. The best of luck to you and thank you very much. Thanks so much for joining us at the 90th National Ploughing Championships. The crowds may not be here, but the spirit of the event ploughs on. Thank you.